shipping tycoon Tansi Halim Muhammad is making a comeback in the corporate scene, this time in education. His company, Halim Mazmin Group, has been awarded with a go-ahead to operate a university called Meritus University, which Tansri claims to be one of its kind in this region. I talked to Tansri about what makes the university unique and how he plans to set the university sail. Welcome, Tansri. Thank you so much for being here with me. It's good to see you again. Um, you know, uh, let's start with the, uh, with the latest one. You have received approval from the Ministry of Higher Education to establish Meritus University. Tell us about this exciting venture in your life, Tansri. Yeah. Indeed, um, we've got our approval uh, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. I was, um, of course, very delighted that the Ministry of Higher Education um, shared with my vision um, of forming uh, this new university, right. uh, Meritus University, um, where uh, we are going to be focusing um, very much on maritime mm -hmm. and aviation. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be the first of its kind uh, in Malaysia. Uh, the uniqueness of this uh, degree is that when my students graduate, mm -hmm. they will be conferred automatically a professional qualification by the Chartered Institute of Logistics and Transport Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So a Meritus student will end up with two honours degree when they graduate. Now, Tan Sri, how will this university be different from those out there in, in, in Malaysia? Yeah, number one, um, our student intake is going to be very, very small. Uh, we're going to focus on quality right. rather than quantity. So we will be very selective uh, in our student selection. Uh, only those who are interested uh, mm -hmm. to pursue the career in the maritime industry mm -hmm. and who has a genuine interest mm -hmm. uh, to work in this field. Um, I'm doing so because uh, given my 40 years of uh, experience in the maritime industry, mm -hmm. I find that uh, it's uh, difficult for us to find the right talent mm -hmm. um, in the shipping companies where employers are very demanding. Mm -hmm. uh, so when I came up with this idea, I uh, shared it uh, with the Minister of Education and uh, I'm very happy that they, they found that uh, um, what, I, what I want to do here has the fullest support. In right. uh, saying so because um, Meritus is going to be different. Uh, we will not be competing with our brother universities, uh, but we want to be working together with them. Um, I have uh, assembled a team of the very best lecturers and professors from within Malaysia, uh, from the UK, from Singapore, uh, to come and assist me in conducting um, the lectures here at our university. And, and of course, Tansi, we heard about these interesting things that the students are going to be studying in floating campus. Uh, tell us about these exciting uh, yeah. uh, features of this course. Yes, uh, the, that's why I say the uniqueness of uh, Meritus is that uh, there is no other university, uh, as far as I know, in Southeast Asia uh, that has um, a facility that what Meritus is offering. Mm -hmm. uh, I've converted one of my ships into a floating university mm -hmm. uh, where my students um, will have to spend time on the mm -hmm. ship. Mm -hmm. uh, they will have to learn the finer aspects of the ship. They will get to know what the captain and the crew is doing. Mm -hmm. Because when they graduate, uh, they are not going to be working on the ship, but mm -hmm. they're going to work in a shipping company. Right. So the students must be, obviously must be well versed with the operations of the ship, so it will help them a lot. What are some of the features available in those uh, ships? Oh. The, the, the two phases of, uh, of uh, where the student will, will spend time, mm -hmm. number one, they will go on board the Putri Masuri, mm -hmm. uh, which is a true um, sailing ship. Mm -hmm. This is where I think uh, we will teach them the art of seamanship, mm -hmm. Uh, they have to sail that vessel together with the crew. Mm -hmm. 
and leadership as well. Right. So at night and day, they have to keep watches like a normal sailor or crew. Right. And when they go to the Masuri, this is a very modern um, ship which we converted. Mm -hmm. uh, she has accommodation for 100 students. Right. And there will be fully manned uh, by competent officers. Mm -hmm. Our lecturers will sail with them. Mm -hmm. So classes will be conducted on board right. so that the students will have to go and work in the engine room. Mm -hmm. They will have to work on deck. Right. So they will have to maintain log books and they will have to do navigation work. Right. Because um, when they come back mm -hmm. to work in a shipping organization, mm -hmm. so they will need little supervision. Now, Tang Sri, um, looking at your uh, students, for, insta for instance, right, what are the prospects for graduate employability of your students? Where will they be after they study in uh, your university? A very, very good question. I think we all read about so many of our graduates who, who have, after graduation, they still have yet to find jobs. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I think, uh, I believe that having a maritime degree uh, is very much sought after. So because the industry is facing shortages of these uh, talented people, mm -hmm. so that's why I find it's a very niche business. Um, I'm not producing thousands of them. So I think um, my students, and I believe that when they graduate, the employers will be waiting at the doorstep to take them. With the creation of Meritus University, it remains to be seen on how Tansri will steer the university forward as well as revolutionize maritime education.